On Thursday, we finally got a use for the go-karts in GTA Online, and today I wanted to make a somewhat quick review on them, going over my thoughts as well as some overall tips and opinions on the aspects of the maps and game modes itself. So without further ado, let's get started. First off, these maps take a big turn from the Mario Kart and have their own twist on things. However, instead of the typical Mario Kart vibes, well, we get to use the go-karts with some heavy over-the-top weapons and power-ups. With this game mode, there are two ways you can go at it, with a team or head-to-head -head with each player. Again, it's totally down to you as to what style you like most. However, personally, I like the team mode as it's a lot more fun having other players to help you along with the match. Throughout the mode, there are different power-ups for you to collect. What these power-ups allow you to do is kill other players, helping your team stay alive until the opponents have no more lives left. I personally like this idea as it gives you a lot more freedom and ideas as to how your kills can take place. And these power-ups consist of a variety of gadgets from rockets, mines, an RC tank and a full-born Sasquatch and more. I personally like the rockets as they are indeed the best for this game mode. I felt the RC tank really didn't relatively damage over opponents' go cards too well. I felt the time you had the power up for and you sprayed your heart out and soul out with those lasers and you knocked off only a little bit of health of the opponent. And then by that time, the power up had ended. Whereas the rockets, if you get a direct hit, it will count as an instant kill and it makes getting the enemy team to lower points a lot easier. Also, the Sasquatch, again, it does have a decent advantage and at plowing over another player and it will instantly blow them up. Throughout the whole game, you do have machine guns attached to your go-kart, and these things will, I will admit, are very difficult to control throughout, throughout to get those hits on enemies, and personally, utilising the rockets to get good enough angles onto players is a better idea than using the machine guns throughout the whole match, because believe me, it's difficult enough to kill an enemy with it, let alone hit them too. Now, in general, I really like the idea of having our own custom go-karts to use at our advantage, and yet not really have giving us too much of an advantage because in general the go-karts aren't a crazy OP vehicle and they don't really require much skill especially in these game modes. However, having the option to use a custom one is always appreciated. Overall, the maps were pretty solid, they were not too crazy or over the top, just normal for an adversary mode to usually see. I personally like the Vinewood map as it has a lot of pacing throughout with top floors and being able to weave in between each platform definitely was a good change of pace. Now, what I've seen a lot of people around the community say is that they're not too many people were happy with these at all. Most people were expecting the usual races that we get, and many people were, well, they wanted that, especially with the go-karts. And to be honest, they aren't wrong. Like, go-karts aren't really, let me rephrase that, go-karts aren't really intended for you to turn into a goddamn tank or have rockets and machine guns attached to them. And well, they are intended for the typical go-kart racing tracks that everyone wanted. However, I'm going to throw this out there and I'm going to say this, I fairly enjoy these game modes. They are something different and they break away from the whole LS Tuners racing vibe we have been getting. At the end of the day, these game modes are titled Car Crash and well, that's indeed what they are. An all-out competitive game mode with small vehicles to put it short. The main thing people seem to be getting at with these game modes is that it's far too unbalanced. The fact we are get rocking a small go-kart with all of these insane OP power-ups lead people to believe that, but that can't be far from the truth at all. In fact, if you strategize with the power-ups when you can pull off some very good maneuvers and kills on other players. What I mean by this is if you utilize the fact that we can have two power-ups at once, then you can store two OP power-ups, most of all the rockets jointed with the Sasquatch, for example, if a Sasquatch is leading towards you, well, you can whip out the, the rockets and get a good enough shot onto the Sasquatch and kill it instantly. Whereas if another player is leading towards you and they have no idea you have the Sasquatch, you can instantly whip it out and they will fall for your trap and drive right into you. Or even better, you drive into them. Anyway, guys, with that, this is going to be my overall opinion and some tips in between on the new Car Crash Full Auto game modes. Let me know what you guys think of them in the comments down below and maybe add some strats that you use yourself and that I may have missed out and that you found useful. And with that, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one. If you really like my overall content, feel free to become a member using the join button or the link that is down in the description. I'll see you all later.